Hey guys, so I want to talk to you quick about developing silvers because this month I've been able to develop two level one silvers basically on the same day. I think one went silver on the 27th and one went silver on the 28th. But it's been a few months since I developed a silver and so I knew I needed to get super intentional about this because we always need to be developing somebody, right? Helping someone share on our team. We need that new blood, that new growth to um, level out any sort of natural attrition or people that may fall off along the way, whatever the situation may be. So it's going to be so important that we are continually helping people share, casting the vision, helping people hit the next rank in our business. So how did I do this? I think first and foremost, it's being aware, being self-aware of what's going on in my business and what's going on in my virtual office. And so I'm in there constantly and I'm digging and I'm looking to see, okay, who have I not connected with recently about the business opportunity, about sharing? And so constantly dripping seeds to people. Um, also, um, being aware of, hey, who already has one join or two joins? Let's get in that conversation again. Let's try to revive it. Let's share about the incentives. Let's talk about the income they can make yet. Um, let's talk about the, the sales and how their friends can get started and can start feeling better too. And so I did that. One of my gals has been with me now for over a year and she, um, hasn't done a ton of sharing to be, to be honest. Um, but I was like, you know what? She's got two joints. Actually that one at, at the time I reached out to her, she had two people, her dad and a friend, but only her friend sub was going through. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to reach out and see where she's at. And guess what? She had one join within a few days time of connecting with her. And now she's got several more ready to go just because I connected with her again and said, hey, you can make this. And then I said, hey, let's throw out a, a simple pink drink post. And she went and she did it. And now she's kind of doing her own thing behind the scenes. So that was my first silver. Be aware of what's going on. Approach people boldly. Bring up incentives again. And then continue to, to consistently plant seeds with all your people, right? The second one is a woman, a wonderful woman who's been on the products now for, I don't know, four or five months and um, very slowly sharing. She's a yellow personality, love her, and she's also green, so very skeptical and is all about the research and the ingredients, the details. Well, it's been a slow and steady process with her, but just continuing to empower her and show her um, how she can help people through this business opportunity, how she can help people in her life feel better. I am consistently connecting her with green resources, you know, about the products and what she's taking and ingredients so that she feels good and confident about what she's sharing because she shared with me, hey, I need this. I need X, Y, Z in order to feel better about sharing. So that can be a question that you're posing to people. You know, I noticed you've been hesitant about sharing or really haven't been open to the idea. Is there something that you might need to see or hear more of in order to feel more confident with that? That's a great question to pose to your people because then you can figure out what is their objection? What does that hold up for them? And once you can help them feel more confident in that area, they'll probably be more, or more open to sharing. So very steadily helping her. She prefers to share face-to-face -face with people. She's connected with close friends and family, doesn't do a lot on social media, um, was very hesitant about social media. And I think through growing our relationship and getting together in person and just um, empowering her and encouraging her and helping her get her results, um, she's eventually been open to doing a post. And actually we were together the other, the other day and I said, let's just take a picture, you know, with our pink drinks. And that's a great way to get the foot in the door, right? Because then I can go and do a post and then tag her in it. Or I can say, hey, let's just do a simple post. What do you think about that? Let's do it together. So that's another tip for you guys is sometimes if you do it together, that's not as scary than them going and doing their, you know, their own picture, their own post. So, um, so yeah, she shared with her mom and then she shared with her sister-in-law. And then this month, I'm trying to think who she shared with. I think it was another someone else in their in her family oh yes her aunt um and so long story short you guys is don't give up on people 
keep loving them, keep empowering them, keep casting vision and showing them um, what this can do for them. For me, it's really narrowing down what color are they? Uh, I get to know them as a person so that I can speak their language. Um, you know, if somebody's yellow and they're all about helping and serving and talking to people, you're not going to be boom, boom, boom with the money all the time, right? And if they're money driven and they're independent and they and they latch on to the financial gains here, you're not going to go all sweet and soft and and, you know, talk about. Well, it could be the community or the people, although that's that sounds really bad. But um, I mean, you're not going to go with all the, the ingredients and the science and the research. Right. So we'll, we'll put it in that perspective. So I don't want this to get long winded. But be aware of what's going on in your virtual office. Continue to connect with everybody. Show them the intent incentives. Show them what you see in them. And just encourage them to take the next step with you and see if they are open to going for these bonuses for the next step, getting out of their comfort zone, helping another person, and then go and show them how to do it.